Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin. Today we're unboxing a watch from Roebuck. Every time I see the name, I think of Sears and Roebuck. Uh, no longer in business, but anyway, let's check out this watch. Uh, very cool case. I have not seen a case like this before. Assuming there's a snap. Okay, it uh, looks like a magnetic type snap here. So very neat. Not sure if that really does, but maybe just for looks. Ah, very cool. So there's a look at that cool dial. Kind of a, a linear a line, well, line pattern on there. I was thinking it's gyration. Uh, and then you have the stripe down the middle. So cool looking watch. Looks like a racing watch. So let's get this out of here. Set this off to the side. This kind of reminds me of a flask. So what do we have going on here with the two, okay, uh, internal rotating bezel. It's bi-directional, uh, does not screw down. The crown doesn't screw down either. So automatic watch, uh, no date. Yeah, first pull out, we're right into time set, so it does not have a ghost date either. So let's get this wound up. Looks like it's already started moving along here. It's kind of a neat uh, bezel insert. It looks like carbon fiber almost. Now maybe it is carbon fiber. I'll have to do a little bit of research on this watch and on the company. Oh yes, that's right. The case um, has this kind of a relief cut to it. So very neat. I uh, haven't seen that on too many watches. Normally they're just smooth sided like that there. And then it uh, looks to be brushed on the inside there. So I'm not sure how they do that. Um, how they get the brushing uh, wheel or whatever in there to do that. Hmm, interesting. I'm assuming they just brush the whole thing and then they come back and polish the perimeter of it. But I don't know that much about watch manufacturing. So Japanese movement. I uh, don't know what movement is in here, but hopefully I can find that out then when I research the watch. It does have a sapphire crystal. Yeah, I can't really tell if that's uh, 6 beats or 8 beats per second. I'm going to guess that's 6 so anyway, let's get this on wrist and we'll close out the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It really does help me out. I don't know if you're interested, but this is the Seiko Dress KX. I have it on the Artem um, sailcloth strap with this uh, Richard Mill style deployant clasp. So very easy to get on and off wrist. This one's probably going to be a little bit big for my wrist, but that's okay. I have a six and a half inch wrist. I guess this is probably a 42 millimeter watch. Actually, let's see. I've got my SKX here. We'll do a quick side by side comparison. And we'll get this Roebuck watch on wrist. Yeah, I would. I'm going to guess this is a 42 millimeter watch. I'm curious some movements on here. Maybe it's an NH38 movement. Probably 22 millimeter lug width as well. Yep, this 22 lines up with SKX. And I am on the tightest hole position and it does uh, fit my wrist uh, just right. This is about where I would wear it uh, on my wrist. So. It uh, will at least work on your six and a half inch wrist with the factory strap, factory leather strap. Uh, the tongue is kind of hanging out a little bit off the back side there, which usually happens on my wrist for uh, any watch, so nothing unusual there. And assigned a brushed buckle. All right, that will conclude this video. Uh, let me know what you think of this watch in the comment section. And as always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.